what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl v and today as you can tell by the title i'll be sharing with you guys my self-care sunday pamper routine so first i'm just going to be cutting some flowers i got myself some flowers today and i got some tulips and some pink roses i think that getting flowers for yourself is so important if you love flowers get them for yourself don't always depend on someone else to get them for you like i don't know i love flowers if you don't love flowers don't be a flower hater okay it's not a personality trait <laughs> but yeah i'm just going to be arranging my flowers and look how beautiful they turned out i'm telling you flowers just lift my day i love it so i feel like it's perfect for a pamper routine or just self-care in general To set the vibe, I'm gonna light a candle, and this is the San Fog candle in the California Coast scent. It smells so nice and amazing. And I'm also using these super cute match sticks that I got from Home Sense. To start my pamper routine, I'm gonna go in with my La Roche Posay cleanser and I'm going to cleanse my face before I go in with shaving. I do shave my face only when I am about to get laser hair removal because I do have PCOS and if you shave your face and you have PCOS, it's gonna grow back excessively. Like not overly excessively, but it does grow back a lot and i don't like that so i do get laser hair removal and i'm using this intuition razor i think it's pretty good that's quite sharp and also i'm gonna use some argan oil to aid in shaving i'm gonna apply the argan oil all over my skin and massage it in argan oil has so many good skin benefits and i'm also going to be shaving my face at an angle you never want to shave straight on because you can risk cutting yourself so i'm gonna shave at an angle and i'm gonna shave my entire face and my neck i did speed this part up for time purposes but you want to make sure that you're taking your time when you're shaving your face to avoid getting nicks and cuts also the benefits of shaving your face your face is just left a lot more smoother if you wear makeup your makeup glides on it just looks a lot better and your skin looks a lot more vibrant and less dull if you do shave your face so like i said if you do have pcos i would highly advise you too i wouldn't say that you shouldn't do it but you can risk getting excessive hair so if you do have pcos be very mindful of it i would highly recommend laser hair removal if you do suffer from pcos because i've been doing laser for about six to eight months now and i've noticed such an improvement in the hair reduction on my face Once I'm done, I'm just going to use a paper towel to remove the excess oil or hair that may still be left on my face. And look how smooth my skin is looking. I'm telling you, it makes sense to shave your face, okay? <laughs> and I'm also going to go in with this Topicals Hydrating Mask. This is a sample I got with um, one of the products that I bought recently. So I'm just going to be trying this out. And it says that you should leave it on for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to leave this on while I hop into the shower. It's too soon to tell, but I really do love how this mask left my face feeling. I felt so nice and moisturized and my skin felt so smooth. So I am so interested in getting the full size of this. Moving on to my most favorite part, the shower routine. And today I'm using a lot of my favorite shower products and these products are super long lasting they make you smell good all day i'm telling you these are my holy grail but first i'm going to put down some bath salts in the bath just to give an added boost to my shower also i'm going to be using some rose petal these smell so amazing again this is just for the vibes and the ambiance and to add to that nice pamper feel Thank you. 
I like to double cleanse my body so for my first cleanse I'm using the Dove Sensitive Bar Soap. It is winter time and my skin does get super dry and I feel like this soap works the best in hydrating my skin and leaving me nice and moisturized. It doesn't strip my skin at all. I love Dove products. I love the Dove Bar Soaps. They just do me right when it comes to moisture. And I'm going to cleanse all over my body using this and then rinse. For my second cleanse, I like to go in with a body wash and today I'm using the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Hydrating Body Wash. Now this, this is probably one of my all time favorite body wash. This smells so amazing. It has such a perfumey scent. It has rose and bergamot in it. It is lovely and it's going to give you such a nice pamper feel to your showers i highly recommend this if you haven't tried it it feels so nice and soft and moisturizing on the skin it's lovely i feel like everyone needs it in their shower routine or their body product collection Moving on to feminine wash, I use the Dove Baby Sensitive Skin Wash. I always use this. I feel like this is perfectly fine and safe to use on your feminine area and it doesn't irritate me at all. The star of the show, today I'm using the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. I love this scrub you guys. This smells so amazing. This is the St. Bart smell. It has such a nice perfumey smell. Oh, I love it. It just leaves my skin so nice and glowy. It is on the more expensive side, but I'm telling you it is worth the money if you haven't tried it. You need it. It is amazing. I feel like this pairs so well with the Soap & Glory body wash. The two of them combined just leaves me feeling so nice and rosy, sweet. I just love it. I smell so good all day. This is going to have you smelling good all day. Trust me. Once I'm done showering, I'm going to go into a bath. Now, this is not an everyday thing. I only do this on my pamper routine days. So I'm just going to fill my bathtub up with steaming hot water. And I'm going to also add in that Soap & Glory body wash again. Like I said, this smells so good. I use, I use it as a bubble bath as well. And I'm also going to be adding in some more of that rose petal oh my gosh it smells amazing this just smelt so good it filled the room and it just adds a nice pamper feel to your bath also going to be adding in a way chill pill and this is a bath bomb this also has a nice smell but it just adds to a nice luxurious feel i'm telling you pamper sundays is just so important to just make you feel so nice and relaxed and to prepare you for the week ahead I'm going to also put down my bamboo bath tray and light a candle as well as pour myself a drink. I'm just drinking some cranberry juice but of course I had to be bougie and put it in a wine glass. I mean why not? <laughs> Thank you. 
Once my bath is all ready to go, I just turn off the lights and turn on my LED lamp. I love this LED lamp. This is the Galaxy Projector Lamp. I can link that down in the description for you. And I'm just going to be browsing on my phone, listening to some music, and catching up on some YouTube videos. I stayed in the bath for about 20 minutes, and then I got out and went into body care. For body care today, I'm keeping things pretty simple. I'm going in with the new Fenty Skin Body Butter. This is in the vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so amazing. It also does have a nice shimmery sparkle to it. I did apply this on damp skin. I think it's super important to apply your body care products on damp skin. That way you're locking in the most moisture. For deodorant, I'm using the Dove Advanced Care Bumpy and Uneven Skin Deodorant. This helps with evening out my skin underneath my arms. And then I'm going to go in with the Victoria's Secret Coconut and Milk Body Mist. For my feet, I'm using this O'Keefe Foot Cream. And I'm using the Soap and Glory Hand Cream as well. I'm going to apply this to my feet to moisturize. And the final step in my pamper routine is skincare. And today I'm going to be starting off by using the La Roche Posay Cicaplast B5 spray. And I'm using this as a toner. Because I shaved my face, I feel like this is going to help in soothing and repairing my skin's barrier. I've been using this for quite a while and it works wonders with moisturizing my face. Then I go into a serum and this is the Coast RX Advanced Snail 96 Serum. I really do love this. This adds such a nice hydrating feel to my skin, especially during these winter months. And it's important to make sure that you're applying all of your products to your neck as well. I recently picked up this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum and I'm going to be applying this. This can be used daily. I also do use the Topical Faded Cream but that one is a weekly regimen so I prefer to use the Good Molecules because I can use this daily and it's not as harsh as the other. For added moisture, I go in with the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Plus and this is for soothing and hydrating the skin. My skin gets super dry during the winter months so I'm just doubling up on my moisture and I'm going to be patting this into my face and then making sure I work it in really good. To complete everything, I go in with my favorite sunscreen and that is the Bondi Sands sunscreen this is an fps 50 this is super black girl friendly it doesn't leave a white cast and it melts into my skin so nice also going to be using my favorite lip mask and this is the laneige lip sleeping mask and the flavor vanilla and that completes my pamper routine you guys i really do hope that this was helpful please excuse my voice i am coming down with a cold but i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video bye